Northampton on the dribble up high. Kicks it out, Poole, three-pointer is good. Emily Poole with the three-pointer, and a timeout has been called by LCU as Poole ends the scoring drought. Northampton right baseline, gets underneath, goes over the shot, it goes, count it. The and one. Hampton will go to the line, try to convert the three-point play. Hampton, Hampton, the far side. Hampton driving, Hampton runner is good. Gets it to go. Shot clock down to eight, it's kicked back to Hampton. Hampton getting into the paint, throwing up the shot, it's good. And Hampton matches a career high with 29 points. You will lob it up, Poole will hold on to it, and the horn will sound, and the Lady Shafts remain perfect in Heartland Conference play. They're now 4-0 in the conference, 8-1 on the season, as the Lady Shafts win this one by a final score of 84-65 here from the Claremore Expo. <laughs> that, that was, I mean, that what, I guess you described that as being the end of four weird days of travel, ice, changes of schedule. We just never sunk into playing. I, we had so many chances to get from a 12-point lead to a 20-point lead, but we just almost refused to make the right plays to do it. And the longer you let a team hang around, the more dangerous it is. And, I mean, it was an eight-point game with about four minutes left. And I mean, that, that game is very losable. Uh, we just sort of seemed to feel like we had the game the whole time until finally we realized, hey, we've got to bear down. And then the last four minutes, we stretched it. But uh, there were some clutch plays by a few players there late. I mean, Casey had a big three. She didn't play very well, but she had a huge three. Uh, and then Nicole sort of down the stretch controlled our offense enough to where we got shots and scored. Uh, and then we made free throws down the stretch as well. Going 28 for 30 from the free throw line, that works pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, we've had sort of this year some up and down free throw shooting games, and this might be one of the more difficult shooting gyms we've experienced in the past. This was probably one of our best game starts here and really our best game results at, at the end of it all uh, that we've had. So uh, that's tough. Those are some mentally tough kids. It's easy to maybe see the, the mistakes we've made, but that was a hard couple days to play that what I would say that well to finish that well was pretty good after these last few days.